What's 78 times 265? <laughs> you immediately hit me with that question. Well, I'm going to reason it all out loud because that's a power move. <laughs> 78 times 265, I'm going to take out the 2 from 78, so that's 39 times 530. So now we can isolate that to 39 times 53, which is essentially 53 times 40, but minus 53. So 53 times 40 is 212 times 10, which is 20, then we have to factor 3, which is 10, 1, minus 3, 8, 7, 3, 6, 7, now that's 53 times 3, now we're done. Now we're done. 78 times 3, so 53 times 3, the same thing as, oh, so... No, surely it's not that simple. No, I can't trust my gut. Why not trust your gut? Because your gut is almost always wrong when it comes to mathematics. So just to make it clear, it's 530 times 39, 39 times 53, 53 times 4 is equal to, oh god, I can't trust my brain, 2120, 53 times 40, then that becomes 2100 minus 33, 2070, 2067. I'm going to say it's 20,670. You are 100% right. Let's go. How are you doing this? I mean, how do you see it? Is there like a whiteboard in your head or are you like the Zach Galifianakis meme from The Hangover? The what now? It just, I've learned a bunch of particular tricks that make it easier. I sort of learned how to do them all in your head without forgetting the results of each one and then learning how to algorithmically chain them together. But once again, the point of the whole thing is that mental math is nice and fun and is good to impress interviewers, but at the end of the day, creative tricks rather than just algorithmic repeats in your head are what make new mathematics.